Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy. If you're new here, I do Dollar Tree videos and also keto related videos. Today I have a recipe video for you and this is my cracker recipe. We have been working on this one for a really long time. I will have everything listed for this recipe listed below in the description box. Um, the base recipe will be the first few ingredients and then the seasonings you can mix out and have these crackers any flavor that you want. Again, my family follows Lazy Keto, so we really don't track macros, so I won't have those for you. Plus, all ingredients are going to be different anyways. It's best for you just to figure out your own macros. Okay, so if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so because I'd love to have you as a member of my YouTube family. Make sure you follow me on Instagram for sneak peeks. Okay, let's get started. So you already know I'm all about the simple recipe. So let's talk about the very few ingredients that are going to go into this one. This is your almond flour, and I just picked mine up. It's the Great Value brand, so it is from Walmart. You'll need some flax seeds. I just pick up the organic golden roasted flax seeds. These are the whole flax seeds. Now you're gonna need them ground up, but I've found that if I just buy the whole flax seed like this, they stay fresher longer. You're also gonna wanna store these in the refrigerator or freezer. Pink Himalayan salt. This one is just from Dollar Tree. And then you're going to need some onion and garlic powders, both just from Walmart. And you'll need some water. That's it. Very, very simple recipe. Go ahead and preheat your oven at 350. Uh, you'll want to do this at the very beginning because this recipe takes no time to throw together and get in the oven. So we're starting off with our almond flour and you're going to need one cup of that. You can sift it if you want to, but I don't. It sort of just all breaks up once you put it in together. Next is your flaxseed. Again, I told you guys that I just pick up the whole flaxseed and I ground it myself. What I do is I just put this in a coffee grinder. This is a specific grinder I use just for baked goods. I don't use it for my coffee, of course. And what I do is I take one heaping tablespoon of the whole flaxseed so that when you grind that down, you get this powder right here and it is the equivalent of two tablespoons of ground flaxseed. So what you'll need is two tablespoons of ground flaxseed. And I just go ahead and add that Now, this is where you can play around with the recipe, and that is with your spices. So, the one that I'm making today is going to be more of a savory cracker, and this is because the girls like it with chicken salad or just a snack on. So, I'm going to add one-fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder to this mixture. I'm also going to be adding some garlic powder and I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of that. Then I'm gonna be adding some pink Himalayan sea salt. I'm gonna go in with a fourth to start with, a fourth of a teaspoon but we like our stuff a little salty. So you can start at a fourth and you can work your way up to maybe a half a teaspoon. Um, again, the seasonings that you're gonna put in this base recipe are optional. So another one that I love to add on occasion is the everything but the bagel seasonings. You can purchase this online. This is the Dax Spices, but I also get mine at Trader Joe's. They also have it at Walmart. All the grocery stores have it now. So if you wanted to add some of this, this would be a great seasoning to add to these crackers. We love it this way, but today I'm just making the garlic crackers. So now that I have all of those ingredients in there, I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit to get it incorporated. 
Okay, your last ingredient is gonna be water and you're gonna need around three tablespoons of that. I like to just go ahead and have it in a little container and then I can put it in as needed, mix it up. What you're trying to do is get this to form into like a ball or a dough. So don't add it all at once because you may not need it. It really only takes a few seconds for the dough to start to form. And this time I did use all three tablespoons of the water. Okay, next we're going to take our dough and we're gonna roll it out on some parchment paper. You're gonna to wanna to put another sheet of paper over top of that and we're gonna just start patting it down. Then we'll start rolling it. You're gonna to wanna to roll your dough out till it's about one eighth of an inch in thickness. You're gonna to wanna to try to get it as even as possible. Of course, the sides, the very edges are going to brown a lot faster. Personally, those are my favorite parts of the cracker, the very crispy browned edges. So I usually just save the middle for the girls. So once you get it at the thickness, you're just gonna pull off the top piece of parchment. Now, if you didn't put a lot of salt in your mixture, you can put a little bit on top. I like to sprinkle a little bit over the top before I cut it, because you know when you usually get crackers or chips or anything, they have that extra flavor, that little bit of extra salt. So I do go ahead and sprinkle some of my pink salt on top. Again, this is completely optional. Okay, now we're gonna take a pizza cutter and we're just gonna cut them into cracker shapes. This is my nemesis because I can never get two crackers the same size. So just do this whatever way is easiest for you. But a pizza roller works perfect. I mean, you're getting at least a straight lines and that's more than I can say if I used a knife or anything else. Then just turn it over and go in the opposite direction. Something else that is completely optional. You can take one of your toothpicks. These are the extra long and you can see that they have like the little flat end. And what you're gonna do is like poke a little hole in the middle of each one of these. It gives it the cutest little cracker look when it's done. Again, that is completely optional. Now, all I've done is transferred this over to my baking sheet so that I can put it in the oven. I've just found that it's easier to work on a flat surface, then transfer it over. You're gonna put these in your oven for 20 to 25 minutes at 350 degrees. Again, you're gonna to wanna to leave these in until they're golden brown. I usually set my timer for about 15 minutes and start checking it then, um, but it can take up to 25 minutes. Okay, ignore my dishwasher noise, guys. Okay, these have been in for 20 minutes now and I came to check. You can see they're starting to get a golden brown. So what I'll probably do is just go ahead and take these out. I went ahead and removed them from the baking pan they were on and put them on my bar so that they would be on a cooler surface. I want these to cool completely before you try to eat them. If you try to eat them while they're still warm, they're more gooey or soft, but if you let these cool completely, that's when they get crunchy. Once they've had a few minutes to cool, I go ahead and start just gently breaking them apart. 
so that they can cool a little faster. You see how easy they come apart. Uh, quick tip, I have tried rolling this dough out in the past and cutting out cute little shapes <laughs> and it does not work out too well. They brown really fast like this in shape form. So if you do it in just a round, a square shape or something like that, they seem to do a lot better. Again, just gonna break all these apart. So I have been creating cracker recipes for over a month now. My kids and family are probably completely just fed up with crackers. This is the best one that I can come up with and it is delicious. It doesn't have too much flavor so that you can put this with everything. Again, feel free to go ahead and add extra seasonings, whatever your family may like, but the base recipe is pretty much going to stay the same. Perfect recipe. It makes the best consistency. And these crackers have the most amazing crunch. Personally, when they get dark like this, this is my favorite because they're just extra, extra crunchy. But my girls like them like this. They don't like it when they get um, too brown, I guess. You know how kids can be. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out some more of my other videos. I will have a recipe playlist linked for you at the very end of this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.